guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Brianna and today I'm doing a little bit of a different video something I haven't done before and I'm just trying it out to see if you guys like this style of video I am doing a video on knot wraps so I wanted to show you some of the brand new knot wraps that I've recently purchased um, talk through the design tell you why I like them and things like that um, and yeah it just was something that I thought was interesting and um, something that isn't talked about a lot in the Lush community. So I thought I would do it. So for those of you who might not be familiar with Lush Knot Wraps or what that sort of entails, basically Lush Knot Wraps are a way um, to wrap gifts without using uh, plastic or paper or things that are you know, that can be easily thrown away quite quickly um, without much regard. I mean, I think we've all been there, you know, for Christmas or whatever your gift giving season is in your uh, part of the world where things are wrapped or um, that sort of thing or for birthdays or whatever. And I think we can all remember as children or, um, you know, whatever it might be having gifts and having paper everywhere, you know, even from a few gifts being opened. So um, I think that the world has moved on quite a bit from, you know, when I was a child, which was, you know, 10, 15 years ago. Um, well, yeah, even 15, 20 years ago. Jesus, I'm getting old. But, um, you know, those sorts of times where things were just disposable 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 I think people are a lot more aware of what they're doing now um, in terms of what they're buying and their impact on the environment which I think is a great thing um, I mean in my family we always recycled our Christmas paper always um, if if we could reuse it we could my mother always was um, saying you know when we got older um, as children she was like be careful opening it I want to um, use that paper for next year or something like that and I'd just be like this is ridiculous but Nowadays, I get it. You know, she was obviously looking out for her back pocket and she was looking out for the environment as well. So, yeah, I respect her now for that. <laughs> Didn't really love it as a kid because you want to just tear into it and go for it. But yeah, uh, but mainly I don't use these for gifts. Mainly my main use for them is on my head. I love using knot wraps as a way to. Uh, bring a bit of color into my day. Um, I'm very lucky with my job. I work in transportation, uh, public transportation to be exact. Um, so it's something that just brings a little bit of joy into my day. My employers are happy for me to have it and wear it. Um, a lot of the customers love it and they make comments about it. Um, and sometimes I actually use them to jazz up um, the bus that I drive because I drive buses. So sometimes I'll hang it over my... Um, what's the word, the speed, speedometer and all that, like not obviously covering the speedometer, but on that little part, um, just to add a little bit of color um, to the bus. And it sort of just lifts my spirit if I'm feeling a bit down because we all have down days. Um, and yeah, I definitely will, will be using some of these uh, around Christmas time um, and that sort of thing to add a bit of color to the bus, which we are allowed to do. So that's a good thing as well. Uh, so yeah, most of these, well, I don't know if most of these are, but a lot of these came back for Christmas in July uh, for Lush Australia. I did sort of explain more of that in my last video with my Christmas in July unboxing with the sort of bath and body products. I won't go too far into it now, but basically we get Christmas in July for our winter time. And um, they bought some of the more iconic Christmas knot wraps back. Um, and then some of these are just older knot wraps that I've just finally got around to buying. And then one of them, the first one I'm about to show you, I bought secondhand recently. And I believe this was a knot wrap last year, but someone correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, cool. So this one is a Halloween knot wrap. I believe this was last year. Once again, someone correct me if I'm wrong. I do not have a name. Actually, I might have a name here. Oh, hang on, I do. Excellent. This is called Pumpkin. Well, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> What, what do we think it is? It's got pumpkins on it. So I love this. I'm definitely going to be putting this on my bus for Halloween for the 31st because I think this is my only Halloween one. I'm just going to look over at my little knot wrap hanging area. I think, yeah, I think this is my only Halloween one. So this will be going on my bus if I'm working on the 31st or if I'm not, it'll be going on a few days before. Um, love it. 
I think this is perfect. I love that it's got the black background. Not many knot wraps have a black background to them. So I love that it's something a little bit different. I love that they've all got different faces. Um, I mean, this one here, let me just see if I can, I don't know. This one here with the eyelashes, the green one. I love that. That's definitely pretty cool. So yeah, I love it. It is sort of like the standard size knot wrap. It's got the silky sort of feel to it. Um, they do have sort of different textures. So I will talk you through that as well. But yeah, I like this one a lot. And yeah, I might wear it on Halloween if, um, if I'm not driving the bus on Halloween, just because I can. So there you go. Next one I've got. Ah, oh, this is very, very cool. What's this one called? Merry Christmas. Oh, once again, Captain Obvious name, huh? Merry Christmas. Ah, this is lovely. This is giving me sort of like, sicilian italian kind of vibes it reminds me of it kind of reminds me of the 90s when people used to buy those really colorful like um what do you call it dining sets my mother did that i think everyone's mother in the 90s did that they bought these colorful freaking uh, dinner sets to go with their um shabby chic um furniture and stuff like that oh my goodness what a time for interior decorating huh so this has got some really colorful baubles on it um love i just love how bright this is it's got a few sort of like summery colors in it which is fantastic for me celebrating christmas in summertime which is quite disgusting if you ask me i hate that we have christmas in summer i hate it but um yeah because i i don't like hot weather but I love the colours on this and I think that I it doesn't scream Christmas to me, but it's very pretty. It sort of screams summer more than Christmas. I think the baubles, um, yeah, sort of make the difference. Once again, I would say it's around the sort of standard size that you'd normally get and it's got the silky sort of um, texture to it. All right, now the next one, this is definitely a um, more canvas-like texture. I'm noticing that already. Oh, this is, oh my goodness. Why did, <laughs> wow. Okay, this is a bit psychedelic. Let me see if I can find the name for it. Lush Living All Year Round KW 2020 OC. Whatever the hell that means. I have no idea what that means. Lush Living. Maybe that's the name of it, Lush Living. Lush Living. Yes, that's the name of it. Oh, that's one I've actually got as it's written down on here. Okay, this is called Lush Living. And this is nuts. This is crazy. <laughs> I don't know why I bought this because this is probably a little bit too weird for my taste. But I think it's one of those ones that's like I'm having an overly shit day and I need something really crazy to bring me out of it. I kind of, I feel like this is one that's going to grow on me. Um, looks a bit like I've taken psychedelics and I'm looking at like Alice in Wonderland something or other. I mean, there's like a random, like, I don't know if that's a sausage or I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> there's a frog, there's a sun. This is a bit crazy. I mean, whoever designed this hats off because it's quite strange kind of reminds me of Futurama a little bit. I don't know why. I think it's because of this multiplied creature down the bottom right. Sort of like um, the Simpsons movie and all that. I don't know. That's a bit of a weird one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. This one is really, really gorgeous. I didn't think it would be this gorgeous in person. Okay. Uh, this one, I think it's just called Dinosaurs. Let me double check. Yes, it is just called Dinosaurs. This is stunning in person. Stunning. Oh, this is beautiful. When I saw it on the website, I was like, eh, I don't know if I really want this. I'm not a huge dinosaurs person. Like, I love history. I love archaeology and stuff like that. Like, I, I really do love that sort of stuff. But I was kind of like, I don't know if this is my style. Um, but now that I have it, I'm very glad that I bought it. Um, it's not as, pardon me, it's not as like kiddish 
as I thought it would be, or childish, should I say. Um, this is really cool. Um, there's a lot of detail to it, which I love. Um, yeah, this is really, really cool. I think I'm going to wear this on a day where I need like a little bit of like big energy. What's not, not like big energy, but like ferocious energy. That's probably the right word. Ferocious energy. Like I need to feel strong. Yeah. Cause dinosaurs were quite strong. I think. Well, we don't know for sure, do we? But um, I think they were quite fierce creatures, so that's going to be interesting. Okay, this is an amazing knot wrap, this next one. This is quite awesome. Oh, and by the way, that is like the silky sort of knot wrap. I'm sure you already knew that by looking at it, but yeah. This was the first knot wrap that I looked at that I thought, I really like this design and I was almost tempted to buy it at the time. And then I just put it off and put it off and then I just completely forgot about it. And I don't know why, because it is gorgeous. And yeah, I've bought so many other beautiful knot wraps since, but this was the first one I think I truly loved. And this is called Hope. And this is a Aboriginal art um, knot wrap. Uh, and there is a tag with it. And I want to read the tag to you. Um, Okay, let me read this side, actually. This is the better side. So this has been designed by Rachel Sara. So it's spelled S-A-R-R-A. Is an artist and designer whose work is an extension of her being and her experiences. As a contemporary Aboriginal artist from Goring Goring country, Rachel uses art as a powerful tool in storytelling to educate and share Aboriginal culture and its evolution. And that is a big part of Aboriginal culture in Australia is art um, and expressing through art. And Aboriginal art is beautiful. If you ever get a chance to see an Aboriginal art exhibit or watch an Aboriginal artist paint, I recommend that you totally go and do that. Um, I was very, very lucky. I grew up in an area where our schools took Aboriginal um, art and Aboriginal culture quite seriously, even before all this social change came in in the last few years or five years, I would say. Um, I was very, very lucky because I grew up in a regional sort of area. So nature and those sorts of things were always important anyway. Um, so we were very blessed to be in an area where um, we had access to Aboriginal artists and people who celebrated Aboriginal culture, such as playing the didgeridoo and using boomerangs and um, teaching about, um, you know, dream time and stories of long ago and things like that. So I was very, very lucky to have that experience in my childhood. And yeah, I just love Aboriginal culture in general. I find it fascinating um, and just wonderful. I just find the whole thing wonderful. And if you don't know much about Aboriginal culture in Australia, please go and search it up. I don't think you'll regret it. It's very, very interesting stuff. Um, and this is just stunning. I mean, purple, pink, red, that's my channel name. It's got elements of all of those things, the purple, the pink, and this sort of ready pink. Um, love the orange as well. The orange is a beautiful touch as well. So it's got all my favorite colors. Um, and it's got those beautiful dot, the dot work that, uh, Aboriginal art is famous for and the shapings, um, and the nature sort of um, symbolism and things like that. So that is awesome. I am really, really happy to have this one. Um, this was released ages ago, like a long time ago. So I'm very, very lucky to have it because I didn't know if they'd still have it left. Now, this one I believe is called The Inventor. I, can, I already know by looking at it, but I'll just double check if I can find the label. Oh, it's just got that label. It doesn't have the other label, I don't think. Oh, well, that's good that I know what it's called because there's no other label to it. I know that this is called The Inventor. I love this. I This screams 60s and pop art to me. Um, reminds me of Andy Warhol um, and his sort of um, shapings with his designs um, and his work. I love the sort of simple shapes and the blocked shapes, I guess is probably the best way to say it. But it's 
very artistic and clear on the message at the same time, if that makes sense. So as you can see, there is an inventor in the middle. Um, there is obviously the man and the woman taking baths and obviously around the edge are some takes on some famous lush bath bombs. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then down the bottom, it says Harajuku. I don't know if you guys can see, but I think this is based on the Harajuku bath bombs release. Um, yeah. But these bath bombs, not all of them look familiar to me. I think it's just an artistic sort of expression. Um, so, yeah, I think this is one of the coolest ones yet. And this is slightly bigger than some of the other knot wraps, I would say. Um, and this is also a silky feeling knot wrap. I think this is beautiful. It's almost like a piece of art in itself. You could hang it on the wall. And the Hope one is also a silky um, sort of feel as well. Forgot to mention that. So, yeah. This one is a canvas feeling one. This feels like a smaller one. So let's open it up. Yeah, it is a little bit on the smaller side. I'm definitely going to have to be careful about how I use this one just because it's a little bit smaller. It's probably a little bit small for my hair. So I might have to find a different way to use it. This one is not labeled. Let me see if I can find something. No, nothing in the notes. Hmm. Okay. I don't have a name for this one. Sorry, guys. Um... Hmm. Let me look in my little, hang on, I just dropped my pen on the ground. Let me see what it says here. Love is love, giraffes. It could be just an old-fashioned Merry Christmas, it could be. Or skiing elves not wrapped or Christmas dinner. I think this is the skiing elves not wrap. Just by process of elimination. And what is shown on here, I think it's Skiing Elves. If I'm wrong, I'll let you know. But I think that's what it is. A little bit disappointed with the size of it. I think it needed to be a little bit bigger, especially these more canvassy style ones. They definitely need a little bit of a bigger um, sort of space, I feel, just because when you fold them up, they can get quite tight, especially if you're wearing them on your hair. Um, so yeah, that's just my personal opinion, but once again, love the colorings of this. I think this will definitely get a lot of use in my bus over the Christmas period, just because it is a little smaller, which makes it a little easier to place in my little bus. Um, and yeah, I think it's quite cute and the colors are quite striking. So I think it'll make a statement on the road. Okay. I think this one's called Snow Fairy. Let me see. Yeah, this one is Snow Fairy. Okay, this is a, definitely a bigger one. It is a canvas style one as well. Um, you know, nothing super special about this pattern. It is a repeating pattern, obviously, uh, but it does have sort of a celebratory feel, I would say. Feels very, um, yeah, just really fun. Um, definitely would wear this on a day where I want something just sort of um, colourful but not too crazy. Um, I like that the colour is quite vibrant. I feel like this would give me a pick-me-up with the just it being pink. I mean I'm sort of known around my work as the pink girl now because of my pink car. I drive a pink car. I don't think many of you know that but I do drive a pink car so um, I'm sort of known as the bright colours girl and the pink car girl anyway so there we go. Here's another canvas knot wrap. This definitely feels um, like it's got it's got a border on it that's been sewn. So this part's thick, but the inner part's quite thin. So that's interesting. So this is another Christmas one. I think this might... Oh, yes, this is Merry Christmas because it literally says Christmas on it. Yeah, this is the Merry Christmas knot wrap. Once again, I feel like this is a work of art. I feel like I'm definitely going to hang this in my bus just because it's really silly and fun um i mean what can you say it's a chris it, it's a moose in a 1920s style costume with a 1920s style bike riding around with presents i mean what more could you want and it is the same sort of color as the snow fairy um very bright almost neon pink color love that it's got the border around it um just gives it that little bit more um resiliency i guess I love it. It's, it's a it's a funny one. I like funny ones. 
Okay, this is the giraffes knot wrap. Yeah. All right, cool. Once again, I think this is a little on the smaller side because it is a canvassy feeling one once again, but um, it is pretty cool. And I like that the Santa hats are on them as well. Once again, I think this is going to get quite a bit of use on my bus. Um, so, yeah, I think I think that that's what I'm going to use it for. Because uh, once again, with the hair, don't know if it's going to work. It's got a nice border on it. Not a huge border, but yeah but anyway if you do see me around melbourne driving my bus or you happen to hop on my bus please let me know i would love to hear from you like if you literally see me on the bus like literally come up and say hello because i love that um or if you see me like let me know on here if you if you see me you can be like i saw you on such and such service um especially around christmas when i start putting these in my bus i think a lot of people will definitely notice <laughs> And I mean, I'm I'm a female driver, which is not a very common thing. I think there's like over 200 drivers at my depot, and there's like four women. So I'm I'm pretty hard to um I'm not hard to miss. That's what I mean. So yeah, I'm pretty hard to miss if that makes sense. Okay, so this is another beautiful one that's pretty much a work of art in its own right. It's got a reindeer on it. Very cute. Rudolph Re Red Nose Reindeer. Let me see if it's got a name. Oh, it's Christmas Deer, as in D E. No, D E E R. It's Christmas Deer. This is very pretty as well. I think this will be on my bus on those more calmer days, I guess, because it's more of a calmer sort of vibe. It's not um, super loud or anything, but it's quite traditional. I like it. This is very cute. Once again, that canvassy sort of feel. I could definitely wear this in my hair because it's got these beautiful sort of um, the holly and the, the sort of baubles look to it. I like that as well. So there we go. This one. Oh, yes. I remember this one, um, which once, like I said, like when I remember a knot wrap, that's a big thing because a lot of them are very crazy and it takes a lot to get noticed. Now, this is... I would say this is sort of like a semi uh, silky feel. It doesn't feel as silky as the silky ones, but it doesn't feel as canvassy as the canvassy ones. So there we go. I think this will also make a big appearance on the bus. Just a good old fashioned Merry Christmas. I think this is beautiful. Um, love the Santa in this. And I just love... Um, the detail. I think the detail is beautiful. The lush around the border sort of just gives it that little bit of something extra. Good marketing as well. Um, I, I really like it. Very pretty. It And it feels quite retro without being retro, if that makes sense, which is hard to do. So yeah. Now this one's definitely a silky feeling one. Uh, love the color scheme on this. It's very 70s, I feel, already. Let me see if I can get a name. This is called Christmas Present. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, wrong way, Brianna. There we go. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. It's very traditional. Once again, like I said, the colors are giving me a very 70s vibe. The type of presents that are being put here are giving me an old fashioned vibe as well. There's no sort of technology or anything sort of overly new, which I like that. Oh, this is beautiful. Love it. I really like the classic feel of this knot wrap. The colors are just immaculate, stunning. Love that. Beautiful. Next one is back to sort of a canvassy feeling one. This one, similar to the Snow Fairy one from before, it's a repeating pattern. There we go. Let me see if I can find a name. This is Snow Fairy from 2020. So I'm not sure if the other Snow Fairy was a 2021 one or an older one, but this is from 2020. Um, it, I could take it or leave it. It's not, you know, super exciting to me. The colors are very vibrant. I like that. Once again, very uplifting colors. 
once again, I'll probably wear this on a day where I'm sort of like, I don't really know what not wrap to wear. Just want something colorful, but just nothing too specific, which I think it's very nice. I do. Definitely not my favorite though, but I do like the coloring on it. Um, and the fact that it's quite abstract, like it's obviously got star shapes and stuff, but it's a little bit more abstract, which is quite cool. Oh yeah, this is one that I was really excited about as well. And this one is called Love is Love. Obvious reasons, you know, we're representing um, for the LGBT plus community. Love this. I think that the messaging is lovely. I think that the design is beautiful. I love the retro vibe of it. Once again, it's very... Um, it's got sort of 80s colors, but the lettering is giving me sort of like 70s vibe. Ah, oh, love it. Beautiful. Once again, almost like a work of art within itself. Could definitely hang this up on my wall. A little bit late for Pride Month with this one, but I would definitely wear this um, for Pride Month or that sort of thing. I could definitely drape this around my neck as sort of like a cape style thing um, for pride. I did actually go to a pride festival um, with my work um, earlier this year. Um, so yeah, we are going back next year apparently. So this will be fantastic um, for that. And I'll definitely wear this for next year as a part of my outfit. Definitely. Oh, that's amazing. This is going to be like my go-to thing for pride, <laughs> I think. Oh my goodness, I've made it. I'm down to my last one. Okay, now this one is called You Are My Lobster. This is also a canvas style one. I don't know why the fuck I bought this, but I did. I mean, it's just fucking lobsters. Like, how random can you get? And this pink is a little bit more darker than the Snow Fairy Not Wrap. I just thought it was so random. I don't even like eating seafood. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that sort of thing. Um, I don't mind sea creatures. I just never really thought about lobsters that much, to be honest with you. Um, I think this was part of the Father's Day range. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it wasn't like an all-year-round um, not wrap. I think it was a Father's Day one. Um, I think the Love is Love one was a part of the Valentine's range um but it was still up there i don't know so i think i'm just gonna wear this when i'm feeling a bit silly you know just something a little bit crazy you know because why not you know love it um yeah there we go so i bought a ton of knot wraps um this is probably bigger than my entire collection currently or close to it um yeah, so let me know if you want to see like a knot wrap collection video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to lump it in with my overall Lush collection video. I did sort of mention this on another video that I think with my Lush collection video, which I think I'll do it around September, October, just before the Christmas stuff drops um, and the Halloween stuff or maybe around when the Halloween stuff drops. Um, because I'm still sorting through my collection. I've still added like a ton of new stuff. So I'm still kind of working through that at the moment. And I don't want to do a collection video where my collection is all over the freaking place. And it's a mess, right? I think what I might do is I might do like sections of my Lush collection. Like I can't do it all in one video. It would just be far too long, far too much to digest. Um, so I might have like a section of the video which is like like not section of the video like a complete video just of my not wrap collection um let me know if you you would like that because yeah i i don't know how many people actually have an interest in the not wraps at lush i think it's a lot less um than obviously the mainline products and the new releases and stuff like that but i am really starting to get interested in the not wraps and i think they're a great way to have art in your house very cheaply if you want something just to hang on the wall i think that's also a great option for you um i think they like i said they're great for hair great for gifting um or just using yourself you know um i i think that's all great so yeah yeah but i have lots of other fun ones that i've bought recently and over you know the last year basically 
So let me know if you'd be interested in that. Um, yeah, let me know what your favorite knot wrap is if you have one. Um, I definitely want to hear about that because I, I want to know how long knot wraps have been a thing at Lush. Have they been a thing at Lush for a very long time? I know they've been there for many years, but I don't remember them being as big as they are now. I think people are really starting to get onto them now, which is an awesome thing. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm getting a little bit tired. I think it's time for me to go to bed. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate it. I hope that it was enjoyable. And, yeah, I hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.